This is uh, a, an issue that I go into in, in America before. And what first drew me into it was uh, Denisova Cave mm -hmm. uh, in Siberia. Welcome, adventurers, to a journey where science meets legend in the depths of Siberia's ancient caves. Recent discoveries challenge long-held beliefs about Neanderthals, as traces of their DNA still linger in certain populations today. Join us as we explore the secrets of Denisova Cave, where the enigmatic Denisovans rewrite evolutionary history. From the perplexing Tunguska explosion to the haunting Valley of Death, Siberia holds mysteries that defy explanation. Are you ready to uncover the hidden secrets of these ancient caverns? Let's dive into the unknown and unveil 17 shocking discoveries lurking in the darkness. Number 17. The Denisova Cave. Explore the secrets of a Denisova Cave, a treasure trove of human evolution nestled in Siberia's breathtaking biodiversity. Initially overlooked by Soviet scientists in the 1970s, it wasn't until 2008 that the cave's spotlight moment arrived with the discovery of a Denisovan finger bone, a species distinct from Neanderthals and modern humans. The cave, named after an 8th century hermit, Denis, unfolds as a crossroads for different groups over tens of thousands of years, facing the challenges of harsh climates. Denisova Cave's remote location in the Altai Mountains adds a lure to researchers worldwide. With sparse Denisovan remains, including a finger bone, teeth, and skull fragments, scientists delve into the Pleistocene era's human saga, revealing a complex history of ancient interbreeding with modern humans, Neanderthals, and possibly another unknown group. Sophisticated tools, a bonnet needle, and jewelry hint at Denisovan culture, challenging our understanding of archaic humans. The ongoing journey of discovery through fossils and DNA sequences unravels the intricate web of connections among ancient human species across Eurasia, promising more revelations about our ancient past. The Denisovan genome remains a treasure trove, offering insights into the mysteries that shroud this enigmatic chapter in human evolution. Number 16. The mysterious Valley of Death is located in the Yakutia area of Siberia and is a place of extremes and mystique. In the middle of the mind-boggling temperature swings, scientists are still trying to figure out where these metallic formations came from. What exactly are these objects? Are they meteorite fragments, ancient relics, or something else entirely? We still don't know, which only adds to the mystery surrounding this desolate valley Tempestuous summers and freezing winters challenge the mettle of even the most courageous adventurers as they make their way to the Valley of Death. There are stories in the local folklore about the metallic mysteries that warn of danger and otherworldly energy, claiming that those who approach them too closely could be harmed by unknown powers. Paranormal activity, meteorites, or even the artifacts of a long-vanished civilization could all play a role in the Valley's enigmatic reputation according to popular belief and scientific speculation. The Valley of Death is shrouded in enigma, owing to the difficulty of exploring the region brought on by its harsh climate, relative remoteness, and inadequate infrastructure. Exploring Siberia's undiscovered regions and learning about its ancient history attracts scientists, historians, paranormal investigators, and daring visitors. The Valley of Death is one of the most fascinating mysteries in Siberia, where science, mythology, and history all come together in a cryptic dance, and its secrets may slowly come to light as technology develops. Number 15, 15, Chauvet Cave, France. Footprints found in a cave in France, dating back 26,000 years, unveil a captivating narrative about the origin of human-dog companionship, challenging conventional beliefs. Discovered in 1994 by Jean-Marie Chauvet, the footprints depict a young Paleolithic child, aged 8 to 10, walking side by side with a wolf or dog through the Chauvet Cave. These tracks cover 150 feet, preserved in hardened clay for millennia. Contrary to the previous belief that dog domestication occurred around 15,000 years ago, this discovery suggests a much earlier and mutual bond between humans and dogs. The footprints indicate a cooperative relationship based on shared benefits and respect, 
challenging the notion of humans taming and breeding wolves. The theory proposes that the collaboration between early humans and wolves stemmed from similarities in social structure and hunting objectives, coupled with a deep understanding of each other's intentions and moods. This revelation opens a new perspective on our shared history, suggesting that dogs were partners and friends over 30,000 years ago. The absence of dog or wolf images in cave paintings implies a unique symbolic significance for these early wolf dogs, distinct from other animals. Number 14, 14. In 1903, the discovery of a 9,000-year-old skeleton in Cheddar, England, led to an astonishing revelation for history teacher Adrian Target. Living nearby, Adrian was identified as the skeleton's direct relative through DNA analysis, marking the world's most distant confirmed kinship, spanning an astounding 300 generations. Cheddarman, the oldest complete skeleton in Britain, lived during 7,150 BC, predating agriculture. This connection raises intriguing questions about the preservation of human genetic heritage. Unearthed during the TV series, once upon a time in the West, DNA tests confirmed the familial link. Oxford University's Institute of Molecular Medicine analyzed Cheddar Man's DNA, uncovering parallels with Adrian Target's genetic makeup. Goff's Cave in Cheddar Gorge, the initial discovery site, holds archaeological significance, challenging assumptions about the spread of farming in Western Europe. The Cheddar Man's remains suggest local development of farming practices, countering the belief of migration from Eastern Europe. This shifts perspectives on early human civilization and cultural exchanges. Cheddar Man's life, intimately tied to the dense forests of his era, involved hunting, foraging, and communal living in Cheddar Gorge's secure environment. Physically resembling modern humans, he predated the agricultural era by 9,000 years but wouldn't appear out of place today. His familial link to Adrian Target transcends recorded connections to distant ancestors, emphasizing the enduring threads connecting us to our ancient roots. Number 1313, Israel's Cave of Horror. The Dead Sea Scrolls, a collection of thousands of scroll fragments, continue to be discovered by archaeologists since the 1940s. In 2021, new pieces were found in the aptly named Cave of Horror in Israel, known for the bodies of 40 Jews killed by Roman soldiers in the second century. Revisiting the cave, researchers uncovered not only Dead Sea Scrolls, but also the mummified remains of a girl from 6,000 years ago. These Greek-written scrolls, with the name of God in Hebrew, likely belonged to Jewish rebels who hid after their failed revolt. The fragments contain verses from Zechariah and Nahum, part of the Book of the Twelve Minor Prophets. The discovery also included rare coins from the Jewish revolt era and a well-preserved 10,500-year-old basket. Reaching the cave, situated 260 feet beneath a clifftop, required rappelling teams to protect the artifacts from looters. This archaeological adventure in the Judean desert unveils the past's secrets, one scroll fragment at a time, from the renowned Dead Sea Scrolls to these recent finds. Number 12. 12. Altamura Man. In the depths of an Italian cave lies Altamura Man, a 170,000-year-old Neanderthal skeleton discovered in the Lama Lunga Caves in 1993. Despite its fragile state and entanglement in stalactites and stalagmites, Altamura Man provided researchers with the oldest Neanderthal DNA ever extracted found in its right shoulder blade. This extraordinary find, described as the most intact non-human skeleton ever discovered by some paleontologists, offers a unique glimpse into Neanderthal life. However, Altamura Man's lineage posed challenges due to its unique features, including massive brow ridges unseen in other Neanderthals. Despite these complexities and partial encasement in rock, Radiocarbon dating revealed an astounding age range of 130,000 to 170,000 years. While not the oldest Neanderthal fossils, Altamura Man's discovery holds the promise of uncovering comprehensive insights into Neanderthal life and evolution. Number 11. 11. 175,000 year old Stalagmite Cave. Deep within a cave 30 miles from Toulouse, France, Archaeologists uncovered a remarkable site challenging our perceptions of Neanderthals. Around 400 stalagmites were meticulously stacked to form two circular structures, located a staggering 1902 feet into the cave. 
one structure featured a perfect seven-foot circle, while the other exhibited a quirky oval shape measuring 15 feet wide and 22 feet long, both showing signs of scorching by fire. This discovery, dating back 175,000 years, defies the traditional view of Neanderthals as primitive cave dwellers. Instead, it suggests a level of sophistication and collective effort in social organization and teamwork. Neanderthals engaged in a collaborative construction effort involving planning, assigned roles, and the execution of a prehistoric construction project. The structure's purpose remains a puzzle, with possibilities ranging from temporary shelters to spiritual significance. This revelation challenges preconceived notions, highlighting the technical prowess, hunting and fishing skills, and artistic expression of Neanderthals. The ancient architects demonstrated a level of skill and creativity that puts them on par with early humans showcasing a previously underestimated aspect of our ancient relative's capabilities. Number 10. 10. An Axe Murderer Joseph Henry Loveless, far from a saint, faced suspicion of axe murdering his wife Agnes in 1916. Exhibiting cunning ingenuity, Loveless orchestrated a daring jailbreak using a concealed saw blade in his shoe, disappearing without a trace. However, his elusive run came to an unexpected conclusion in 1979 when a family stumbled upon a macabre discovery in Buffalo Cave, Idaho, a headless torso in a burlap sack. The unsettling find didn't end there. Twelve years later, in 1991, a matching hand was found nearby, prompting an extensive search that eventually revealed the missing legs and one arm. Slowly but surely, the puzzle pieces began to fit. After 18 years, a decision was made to subject the body to a DNA test, conclusively identifying it as loveless. Remarkably, his own grandson, nearly 90 years old, provided his DNA to validate the findings, putting an end to the enduring mystery. Despite this resolution, the circumstances of Loveless's demise remain elusive. Theories circulate, with some speculating that Agnes's family, motivated by vengeance, may have tracked him down, delivering their form of justice. Yet, the exact details remain veiled in uncertainty. Number 9. 9. Oldest Wine Ever Picture stumbling upon what could be the oldest wine ever found. In a captivating cave in Sicily, researchers uncovered something entirely unexpected. Evidence suggesting winemaking in Italy over 6,000 years ago, challenging our understanding of its ancient origins. What elevates this discovery is that it wasn't merely evidence of grape farming, it was actual wine residue. The researchers struck gold when they found five organic wine samples preserved in terracotta jars from the Copper Age. These jars, nestled in a limestone cave on Sicily's southwest coast, date back to the 4th millennium BCE. How did they confirm it was indeed wine? The presence of tartaric acid and its salt, commonly known as cream of tartar, provided the critical components found in grapes during the winemaking process. This discovery stands as the earliest known evidence of wine residue in prehistoric Italy, rewriting the history of winemaking. Previously, scientists believed winemaking in Italy began in 1200 BC, influenced by the ancient Greeks. Now, this discovery compels them to push that date back by an astonishing 3,000 years. Sicily, already renowned for its wine production, can now proudly assert an even more ancient and rich wine culture. Number 8. 8. Bird Carving In 2003, the depths of Germany's Holofels cave revealed a remarkable find, a small bird carving with a staggering age of over 30,000 years crafted from mammoth ivory. This exquisite piece isn't just a mere artifact, it's potentially the earliest representation of a bird ever discovered. Beyond its age, what sets it apart? This ancient artwork provides insights into migration patterns and the beliefs of our early human ancestors, particularly shedding light on the world of shamanism. The carving portrays a water bird with a horse's head and the majestic mane of a lion, a fantastical creature that holds significance in shamanic practices, where birds, especially water birds, were revered symbols. The lifelike appearance of the bird with its detailed head, eyes, and gracefully stretched out neck, showcases the artist's skill, making it the oldest known representation of a bird. 
found alongside an owl figure in a French cave, these carvings, although resembling Neanderthal cave paintings, were determined to be the work of early modern humans through carbon dating, carefully carved between 28,000 to 35,000 years ago. These bird figurines, while small and CZ, offer a profound window into the artistic expressions and symbolic beliefs of our ancient past. Number 77. Crystallized Human Sacrifice Nestled in Belize, the archaeological marvel known as Aktun Tunichil Muknal, or the Cave of the Crystal Sepulchre, transcends ordinary caves with its dual identity, a repository of Mayan treacheries and an unsettling testimony to sacrificial rituals. This cavernous realm unveils a haunting tablio, where skeletons repose amidst ceremonial artifacts and decorations, some carefully paused to need on alders, from the remains of youngsters to adults, exhibiting peculiar skull shapes. One figure, in particular, captures attention. The Crystal Maiden, a 17-year-old boy whose fate met brutality. Mistaken for a girl, his bones are encrusted in calcium crystals, rendering him a macabre sculpture. Dating from 250 AD to 909 AD, this cave held profound significance for the ancient Maya, who believed it served as a divine nexus for gods overseeing agriculture and rain, prompting the sacrificial offerings. Though the era of human sacrifice has waned, reaching this cave demands more than a casual stroll. Prospective visitors must traverse challenging waters and contend with restricted access as only two authorized tour operators guide adventurers to this national monument. For those seeking an adrenaline-fueled journey through Aktuntunachil Muknal, brace yourself for spine-chilling sights and an indelible lesson in history. Number 6. 6. The Giant Crystal Cave, Chihuahua, Mexico. Deep within the Sierra de Nica mountain in Chihuahua, Mexico, lies a subterranean marvel that transcends fantasy, the giant crystal cave. Hidden 984 feet below ground, this enchanting cavern boasts colossal gypsum crystals, resembling towering pillars, which have quietly thrived for over half a million years, creating a surreal landscape. Some crystals are so expansive that they span the entire cave, evoking comparisons to Superman's mythical fortress of solitude. Unfortunately, this crystalline wonder remains inaccessible to tourists, deemed too perilous due to its hot and humid conditions. Even scientists face challenges in exploring this otherworldly environment. The genesis of this phenomenon dates back nearly 26 million years, when regional fault lines facilitated the ascent of magma towards the Earth's surface, shaping the Sierra de Nica mountain. As groundwater flooded the cave for tens of thousands of years, carrying the mineral and hydrite, it became a canvas for a remarkable transformation. The presence of a deeper magma chamber maintained the water's temperature above 136 degrees Fahrenheit, ensuring the stability of anhydrite. However, as time passed, the water's temperature gradually decreased. This shift triggered the breakdown of anhydrite, releasing calcium and sulfate into the water. These components, in turn, recombined and crystallized, giving birth to a unique form of gypsum, selenite. Shielded from abrupt temperature changes and immersed in water, these selenite crystals continued to grow ceaselessly, defying temporal constraints and creating an ethereal realm within the heart of the mountain. Number 5. 5. Extinct Bird In 1987, a team of archaeologists affiliated with the Speleological Society of New Zealand uncovered a fascinating relic, a claw belonging to the extinct moa bird. What made this discovery truly extraordinary was the preservation of not just bone and talons, but also muscles and flesh clinging to the claw's bony structure. The moa birds, once inhabitants of New Zealand, comprised eight distinct species, ranging in size from that of an average turkey to colossal birds standing 12 feet tall and weighing up to a staggering 500 pounds. Through the application of radiocarbon dating, Scientists determined that the claw was approximately 3,300 years old, affirming its status as an ancient native of New Zealand. The images depicting this unique, flesh-covered claw stirred significant interest on social media, with observers drawing parallels to scenes from science fiction movies. Even Mark Hamill, renowned for his portrayal of Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, joined the online discourse, playfully drawing a resemblance between the claw and the hand of a rancor 
a massive reptile-like alien creature from the iconic film Return of the Jedi. The discovery not only sheds light on the ancient avian inhabitants of New Zealand, but also sparks the imagination of enthusiasts across various communities. Number 4. 4. 170,000-year-old roasted vegetables. In the depths of the border cave in South Africa, a culinary revelation awaited scientists as they unearthed charred remnants of roasted root vegetables, providing a glimpse into the diets of our ancient ancestors. These 170,000-year-old roasted vegetables, specifically rhizomes from the Hypoxis genus, emerged as the oldest of their kind ever discovered. Contrary to the stereotype of a strictly carnivorous diet featuring mammoth and saber-toothed tiger meat, early humans enjoyed a well-balanced culinary repertoire that included a substantial portion of roasted vegetables teeming with valuable carbohydrates. The archaeological findings suggest a sophisticated dietary approach, combining both proteins and carbs, showcasing our ancestors' culinary diversity. Unearthing this ancient treasure wasn't a straightforward task. The dedicated team of researchers delved into meticulous examinations, scrutinizing countless charred remains under microscopes. After years of detective work, they identified the charred bits as rhizomes, the subterranean stems of plants, the hidden gems beneath the Earth's surface. The flavor of these hypoxis rhizomes, distinct from the average potato, is likened to yams, offering a unique twist. Early humans seemingly couldn't resist the starchy goodness of these roasted vegetables, incorporating them regularly into their diets. The abundance of rhizome fragments found attests to its commonplace presence in their culinary repertoire. This groundbreaking discovery challenges the misconception of our ancestors as solely carnivorous beings, revealing their genuine appreciation for produce. It underscores the importance of balance in a healthy diet, even for our ancient predecessors. However, not all hypoxis rhizomes are alike, as a particular species, such as Hypoxis hemorrhocalidae, or the African potato, known for its bitterness, served more medicinal purposes than as a food source. The people of Border Cave likely indulged in a different, more palatable species like Hypoxis angustifolia, with its white-fleshed rhizomes. Number 3.3. Three. Translucent Snails In the uncharted depths of Croatia's Lukina Jama Trajama cave systems, a group of cavers and biologists stumbled upon a remarkable discovery that defied expectations. A previously unknown species of snails. But these weren't your ordinary garden snails. They were extraordinary translucent beings belonging to the Zospium genus. These mesmerizing see-through snails have made the dark recesses of the cave their home, residing a staggering 3,200 feet below the surface. What makes their existence even more intriguing is that they thrive in total darkness, devoid of vision. The cave itself is no ordinary spelunking destination. It ranks among the top 20 deepest caves on Earth, making it a promising habitat for the discovery of rare creatures. As the intrepid team delved deeper into the cave, diligently collecting animal specimens, they stumbled upon a minute snail that defied all expectations. They aptly named it Zospium thalusum, a species that presented itself as an extraordinary addition to the scientific world. The snail's enchanting translucent shell, resembling a miniature dome-shaped work of art, set it apart. True to snail behavior, these creatures navigate the cave at an unhurried pace, covering mere millimeters or centimeters per week, often moving in circular patterns. Their leisurely grazing habits define their existence in the comfort of their cave abode. Upon bringing their newfound discovery to taxonomist Alexander Weigand in Germany, Confirmation en Sued, Zosipium thalusum was indeed a novel addition to the scientific lexicon. The journey into the depths of our planet reveals a whole new world teeming with wonders, where even the humble the snail can become an extraordinary testament to the mysteries of subterranean life. Number 2. 2. Oldest Bow and Arrow In the heart of southwest Sri Lanka, within the Fahian Lena Cave, a groundbreaking archaeological revelation unfolded. The unearthing of the oldest bow and arrow technology ever discovered. Dating back a staggering 48,000 years, this remarkable find stands as the earliest evidence of archery in South Asia 
and potentially across the entire expanse of Eurasia. The explorers meticulously delved into the depths of Fahianlena, uncovering not only arrowheads but also exquisite decorative beads crafted from mineral ochre and marine snail shells. This discovery extends beyond regional significance. It portrays the exceptional technological prowess of ancient civilizations in adapting to diverse environments. The projectile points, fashioned from animal bones and aged at a solid 48,000 years, were embedded within a layer slightly younger, approximately 14 years old. A fascinating twist emerged as researchers revealed that the fashionable beads were ingeniously affixed to arrows using a bow and arrow technique, a testament to the ingenuity of our early human ancestors. This revelation challenges conventional beliefs, defying the notion that all human innovation originated solely in Africa and Europe. Instead, it positions South Asia, specifically Sri Lanka, as a formidable contender in the narrative of inventive techniques. Our ancestors in Sri Lanka, with their sophisticated bow and arrow technology, undoubtedly stood ahead of their time, showcasing resourcefulness and adaptability in the evolving tapestry of human history. Number 1 1. Mughal Cave, Romania. After 5.5 million years of isolation, scientists were able to unlock a long shuttered cave. Despite the fact that the Mughal Cave is filled with poisonous air and receives no sunlight, it is home to an extraordinary biosphere. Authorities have restricted access to the cave ever since its discovery in 1986 by workers looking for a location to construct a nuclear power station. The Mughal Cave's air is high in carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide and contains less than half the oxygen of the open air, creating a habitat unlike any other on Earth. The cave has also been in total darkness for millions of years. Biologists have been drawn to the cave's severe circumstances and lack of sunshine. In 1996, a group of researchers from the University of Cincinnati studied this intriguing ecosystem. 48 species were found, with 33 of them being exclusive to the Mobile Cave. The cave is home to a wide variety of creatures, including centipedes, woodlice, snails, spiders, and pseudoscorpions. Adapting to their gloomy habitat, the organisms that live in caves when it's dark, most animals don't need their eyes or pigmentation to see. Their ability to navigate well in the dark is facilitated by their extended limbs and antennae. The fact that the Mobile Cave is the first terrestrial ecosystem known to depend on chemosynthetic bacteria is quite astounding. Bacteria in the cave get energy and carbon via chemical reactions like sulfide or ammonium oxidation, whereas most ecosystems on Earth rely on photosynthesis to get energy from sunshine. There are some similarities between the Mobile Cave environment and the unusual ecosystems that can be found at the ocean's deepest hydrothermal vents. Nevertheless, unlike communities found in deep sea vents, it does not support symbiotic interactions between chemoautotrophic bacteria and animals. Despite our understanding of the cave dating back decades, deep within it lie a multitude of unsolved mysteries. According to their findings, there are likely numerous uncharted inhabitants still out there. Perhaps any of these can teach us something important about the origins of life and evolutionary biology. This means that our understanding of the optimal environments for life in the cosmos is far from complete. Who knows what other planets or even galaxies in the universe might harbor life if creatures can emerge in such hostile environments. Utro. As we conclude this journey into the mysteries of our ancient past, each discovery unveils a captivating chapter in the rich tapestry of human history. From the crystalline depths of Mexico's giant crystal cave to the fascinating revelations of our ancestors' diets in South Africa's border cave, these stories transport us across time and space. Join us in future expeditions, where each unearthed artifact, every ancient bone, and the whispers of our ancestors continue to shape the narrative of who we are and where we come from. Subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the next adventure through the annals of time. Thank you.